alone, every night alone, I am not alone. Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the installation of this beautiful unit. Look how beautiful and just voluminous these curls are. I couldn't keep my hands out of this unit as you guys can see. But this is 100% glueless. You can take this off and put it right back on. Very beginner friendly and straight out of the pack you don't have to do any bleaching plucking whatsoever so if you guys are interested in seeing how i achieve this look make sure you keep on watching now let's get into the details of this wig thank you so much eunice for sponsoring this video i will be showing you guys this new wig that they just dropped and girl when i tell you they're making it really easy for my beginner friendly girls but before we get into that this is just a little care package that you will receive in your box and here's a little insight of what i'm going to be showing you guys today their new bye bye knots wig and honey when i tell you they are really getting creative with these wigs as you guys can see straight out of the package y'all why does this lace already have baby hairs on it like they really are really going far y'all this lace was already cut the knots were already pre-bleached the lace was already pre-plucked and they already gave us baby hairs like they must know the girls are lazy when it comes to their hair and they are really looking out for the girls who are new to this wig game because is this is pretty much just ready to go ready to wear and i love that for us so this is their 7x5 glueless lace body wave texture and this is 180 percent density look how nice and flowy these nice body wave curls are so this was just the basic construction of the unit we only had one comb in this one and an elastic band but it was really secure on my head but one of my favorite features of the unit was how big this lace space was you're able to do a nice deep side part or keep it as a nice deep metal part so on to styling i was really excited to put this wig on and see how it was going to give with these baby hairs so i wanted to see if they passed the test but that wasn't necessarily the case so i did my normal put my color on my lace just so it can match but when i put on this wig i 100 percent get the concept they were going for but we had to do a little doctoring to this unit to get it to look exactly how i wanted it to look so this is how it looks without me doing anything extra to it but y'all can see those roots i want to flatten those out a little and i want this to have a nice layered voluminous curl look so I had to go ahead and blow out those pre-made body wave curls that already came in the hair just so it can have the curls that I was putting into the wig nice and sleek. And if you're trying to achieve some nice uniform curls, please at least blow dry your hair almost straight. It doesn't have to be 100% straight, but at least try to get out those uniformed curls that already came in the unit or even if you previously styled your hair and it was wavy don't try to do curls on top of that like it's not going to look good take your time and style your hair so it can come out exactly how you want now if you see what i'm doing right here i'm actually using a liquid spritz and i learned this technique from stuck up yai you guys are probably familiar with her on tiktok but she also has a youtube channel now which i'm so excited about but I really follow her routine for this style because I typically use wax sticks for my roots to make them hold and stay down. But y'all, it wasn't messy. It didn't feel filmy or sticky like a wax stick does. And y'all, look how flat this came out. It didn't budge either. It looks so good. So I was really happy that I did not have to deal with the messiness of a wax stick and just having that weird film on my hair and having to wash it days later. So I think I'm going to start doing this when I need to lay my roots. But I did this to both sides and it came out so flat. Y'all look at the difference from the before and after period okay so i ended up just using a random pommy that i found in a beauty supply store to close in that part a little because i hate when wigs have that big parting and you can really tell that it looks off so i just cut some little mini layers in my head and i also love to have a nice little blunt cut at the bottom 
so it looks nice and full and doesn't look straggly so i did that to one side and as you can see the other side is just flat and lifeless so we're going to do that to the other side as well and then we're going to get into curling so as you guys can see when i was adding that spritz to the roots of the unit i kind of got it on the lace as well so what i did was once i put that little edge band on it melted that lace into my skin and it's still going to be glueless i'm just going to simply lift it up once i'm done styling my unit and it just helps that lace to not be as flappy and loose as it was in the beginning you guys are going to see in the end but yeah i like how the spritz was able to just kind of carve that lace out to be nice and molded onto my head but i didn't cut any extra baby hairs on this unit these are still the baby hairs that came on the unit i simply just curled them up and carved them out with some um foaming mousse and as y'all can see this lace is lacing honey it looks so good it's given flat scalp and i was already feeling it and i was just super excited to finally get into my favorite part which is curling this hair so if you're familiar with aliexpress or even amazon style wigs you know that they typically tend to be lightweight um and in this case this wig was 180 percent density and when i curl my hair i like to at least have 200 to 250 percent density at the least when i'm trying to straighten my hair or even when i'm trying to curl it because it gives that nice full and healthy look but in this case i just had to add some layers and kind of doctor the curls to make sure that they hold longer than I anticipated them to hold. So one key thing that I advise you doing is spraying the hair with some hairspray. Um, one of my favorite hairsprays is Sebastian Sharper. And I just spray a light coat of that onto the hair prior to curling. And then once the hair is out of the barrel and cooling in my hand, I like to go in with one more spray just so it can hold. And this allowed the hair to have just a lightweight coat of hairspray on it to make it last way longer than they're supposed to because these curls will not last if you do not add any hairspray to them. So if you want to have some longevity, make sure you are taking note of this little step. I had to even learn it myself with different types of density wigs. So that was really a key thing that helped me when I'm curling my hair on top of layers because layers really add extra life to your hair. So I love that. <laughs> So once I finished curling both sides of my head, I was super excited to take down these curls because I just knew I took my time and they were gonna come out so pretty. But when I took off this lace band, honey, this lace looked so good. And just knowing this comb out was about to be bomb because I took my time with these curls. And can you guys like see the difference when you Take your time, blow out those waves, and curl your hair exactly how you want it to come out. This would not have came out like this if I did not blow out my hair. But I went ahead and used some Skinny Serum by Paul Mitchell just to add a little more shine. And look how beautiful. These curls look so good. But y'all know I love me some big hair. So I went ahead and combed out those curls a little bit more. And this was my final result. So... This is basically the end of the video, super straight to the point and very easy. And still this wig is able to come off of your head 100% glueless. And I am just super pleased with how this came out. So if you guys are interested in this exact unit, make sure you check out the description box below for any coupon codes and the direct link to this hair. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.